Hello, it's Scott Manley here with a, a little follow-up on my original 0.24 reveal video. So I'm going to start out in the Space Center. If you press Alt and F12 to bring up the debug menu, then uh, you have a new tab now in the form of gameplay tweaks. From here, you can modify your saved game to allow quick loading or quick saving or reverting to launch, reverting to editor. These are great things. You know, I would I would suggest turning off all these if you want to play a real career mode, and in fact, if you're really awesome, you could turn off all that stuff and uh, really make yourself an Iron Man type of game. Uh, moving into the vehicle assembly building, there are a couple of new items worth uh, that have been added to the game. So under propulsion, there is the O010 monopropellant engine. The, when the O10 engine was first unveiled, it was regarded as one of those ideas that someone should have thought of a long time ago. People did think of it a long time ago. It, it is an engine which runs off of monopropellant. It has really lousy specific impulse, but of course it means that you don't need to worry about a, you know, stack flow priority or any of that stuff. It's gonna, it's gonna pretty much follow, a, it'll you know, the far engines will fire, assuming there's RCS on the spacecraft. So let's uh, just demonstrate how this works. Actually, let's uh, put a cockpit on there. And um, we need to find an RCS tank. That should do. And let's put these engines on. Now, the engines, if I just make a bunch of them, because oh, they're going to need a lot of thrust here. There we go. They all fire at 45 degrees downwards, which means, of course, uh, they're only getting about 70% of their thrust going down. So, of course, you can use uh, Shift and W to turn those downwards if you like, and it'll, you know, fly straight up, hopefully. Let's uh, duplicate those just to be sure. Oh, there we go. Brilliant! And let's just try launching this thing and seeing how well it flies. Now, although they fly uh, using the fuel required for RCS, they don't actually respond to RCS commands. They are a regular engine here. So if I fire the engines, oh look, there we go, flying into space. Uh, well, not particularly well, but it does actually work. Quite a lot of thrust here. Of course, we're burning through the monopropellant really quickly because monopropellant is very inefficient. Uh, now we're out of fuel. Interesting note is that you press Alt F12 and you go over to uh, the, the cheat screen, infinite RCS doesn't help, even though it is uh, giving you infinite RCS fuel. It's all about the infinite fuel for this thing, if you want to get this thing flying into space, <laughs> running this. Wow, that is pretty crazy. And uh, of course, I've turned off revert to editor. Let's uh, revert to editor. <laughs> revert flight to vehicle assembly. Brilliant, you see? Well, stop me cheating in career mode. Okay, uh, and of course you could do even sillier things with this. You can grab them, hold on, let's take these off. And put them back on at a slight angle and we can see what it looks like from inside. Got to do eight of these to get maximum spin, maximum spin, maximum spin. Yes, you ever wondered what uh, it looks like from inside a centrifuge? Okay, let's take, the, take a look from Calibur's point of view. Ready? Throttle up. And... <laughs> there we go. Oh dear, sometimes it's the little things in life that make things <laughs> special. And by special I mean uh, special education. <laughs> oh dear, yes. Simple things, simple things. Let's, uh, let's go back um, oh, I can't, I gotta, I gotta change this because it's in the save file. Okay, so the second item which has been added to the Kerbal's part catalog is the Werner engine, the VRN1ER, Veer Governor or Werner engine. Uh, it's supposed to be a Vernier engine, but people can't quite decide what the exact specification or what, what exactly classifies an engine as being a Vernier. Um, it is a, an engine which is designed for steering, and it's really designed for lower stages on rockets, 
when uh, you're deep inside the atmosphere or the rocket is really huge, the specific impulse actually gives these a slight advantage over regular linear RCS ports when you're deep inside the atmosphere. But the main uh, the main advantage of them is that they get 12 times the power. So you can put a couple of these on very large rockets and they will steer it far more effectively than the linear RCS engines. However, they burn regular liquid fuel oxidizer mix, which means you need to be concerned about uh, the way fuel is drawn through the rocket. You need to be uh, making sure, essentially, that uh, you have the whole things plumbed up correctly. So let's just actually try using these like regular engines here. I'm just going to try the. This is this is a very strange look, but I think I think this thing will fly. Let's give it a go. Okay, so these are not hooked up to the regular thrust cycle, so of course adjusting the throttle does absolutely nothing. Instead I press R for RCS and press H to go forwards and it doesn't go anywhere! Oh there we go, excellent! <laughs> Brilliant, okay so let's uh, just fly this thing like a rocket that it is! And so look, it, it will turn and if I, in, interestingly, if I enable the SAS, it will actually use differential thrust between these things. You see that as I try to turn over? It will use these things, so if you have a much shorter and flatter thing, it will very easily lose control of uh, it. Oh, that's quite a lot of thrust actually here. <laughs> I, I'm not sure why... Uh, no, it's still... Oh yeah, it's totally out of fuel now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Caliber Kerman. And you know what? We don't even have a revert to launch site. We have nothing to do but let him fall to his doom. So, in addition to those two new and interesting items, almost everything has had uh, its price looked at to account for the new career mode. So there are minor tweaks there. I think there are a few items with other uh, minor tweaks to its, uh, you know, masses or thrusts or power consumption. And uh, under aerodynamics, the radial engine body and the engine nacelle both now provide intake air and liquid fuel as a resource. The engine nacelle used to provide intake air, but now it actually provides fuel. So, well, let's just take that off. So we can actually build an aircraft using just like uh, a minimal number of parts using these items. We'll stick that on there. Put an engine here on the back. Look, that's has got a working combination there. Now you don't need extra parts to build your uh, minimal part count aircraft. Uh, and of course we need a couple of wings, don't we? Actually we can get away with just one wing if we know what we're doing. There we do that. That should be pretty good. Let's see, center of lift, center of mass. Uh, that'll do. Let's try turning that up and see if I can fly this anywhere but into the ground. Okay, throttle this thing up, fire up the SAS, and we lift off. Brilliant, we have our minimal part count aircraft now. Oh, it doesn't seem to want to glide very well. <laughs> look, at, look at the velocity vector dropping down. Let's try turning it. Oh god, it it this is the worst turning aircraft I think I've ever built. There, look, it is a functional four-part aircraft in Kerbal Space Program, using stock parts as well. Um, so yeah, this is this is obviously a, another cool thing which people will no doubt exploit for the awesome. And uh, actually, one of the biggest changes is one of the ones that hasn't been talked about a huge amount, and that's 64-bit support under Windows is now official. The the fan program to uh, the fan you know uh, development that added 64 bit and was testing it has really borne fruit, and now we have an official 64 bit version, albeit with a disclaimer saying that it may or may not be as stable as the 32 bit version. It should help if you want to install massive textures or massive numbers of mods, and I will no doubt be doing that. But anyway, I am going to try crashing this thing and then see you guys later. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Yeah.